longbow was devastating on the battlefield. One of the big advantages of a longbow is you could get it distance and be able to hit enemies uh, a lot easier than it was with a spear and definitely with a sword. Uh, when the crossbow was invented, it definitely changed the way that warfare was fought. Uh, it actually started out about 6th six, six century BC in China. And from that time, it's gone from very crude to very elaborate. Today we're going to take a look at the 10-point Viper, and this is the S400. It will go about 400 feet per second. It's really easy to load, easy to cock, easy to fire, and they're very accurate. And at 400 feet per second, I mean, you have really got an effective round for hunting, or for that matter, even self-defense. And one of the big appeals of the Viper is that it is so quiet. Quiet to manipulate, quiet to cock, and also quiet when it fires. So there's a lot of advantages to the crossbow. Now I want to send a big thanks to Sportsman's Guide for sending the Viper S400. Uh, they carry a full line of 10-point crossbows and a lot of accessories, and I really appreciate Sportsman's Guide for sending the S400. This thing is sweet. Now the Viper S400 has a lot of great features, and again, the 400 denotes that this will get up to 400 feet per second. I believe it has 137 pounds of kinetic energy. So this is going to be a great option for deer hunting. One thing that I really love is the chassis. I mean, it is beautiful. And this has the Vail Alpine camo, but you can also get this in graphite. And unlike traditional crossbows with really long arms, uh, from pivot to pivot, this is seven and a half inches. So you're able to really get in tight, especially during bow season. Uh, and then it's really about 10, 10 and a half inches from the end of the pulleys to the other side. But it's still a very narrow crossbow. It's 32 inches in length without the stirrup installed. Now, and it also weighs about seven and a half pounds. Now, probably the best feature on this crossbow is the AccuGlide system. And we're gonna look at that when we go through the process of cocking it, loading an arrow. But right here, this flight deck, it is so smooth. And then you have your trigger lock right here that makes it so easy. It does come with the Rangemaster illuminated optic, and this is for crossbow. It also comes with our QD quiver system. We can put the quiver in here, lock it down, and then we can take our arrows and we can have them right here very easy to get to. And then when we want to take it off, it comes right off. Now this stock is absolutely incredible. I mean, it is a composite stock and uh, you have a place to grab here. And then of course you have your pistol grip, it's locked in. And then we have this really nice comb or cheek piece and it does have a rubberized pad on it. And we have a rubberized butt pad. Uh, one thing though you'll notice under here, this is the, the uh, cocking lever or the arm. And this is what we're going to use to load our arrow and to cock this crossbow. But it locks right here in the stock. I mean, this is really cool. The chassis is CNC machined. It's 6061 T6 aluminum. You've got vents all the way through. I mean, this thing is beautiful. Plus, it does have a scope rail on the top. And then again, you can just add your scope to it. And this is a Picatinny rail on top. Now this is your trigger lock latch. You have one on the other side as well. The first thing you want to do is depress this, but you put the crossbow in the down position. So when you hit the button, the trigger box goes all the way to the string. Here you can see that it's connected to the string. You want to just make sure that it is all the way in the fully pushed position and it should be on safe. This is part of your dry fire safety system. Now again, here is your cocking arm. So we're going to pull it out and then we're going to just pull it down. Take your crank handle and you'll have a little port here. Just push down on that detent and then it'll lock right into place. Once you have your arm into place, you can pull this out and it'll extend to seven and a half inches. This is a 30% reduction in the short crank arm. And so we're gonna go clockwise and just start turning. This little belt right here is gonna start tightening up and then you'll start pulling it. Now, one of the things about traditional crossbows is when you get to a certain point, you want to let go, it'll start spinning backwards or it cranks. And that's part of the silent system. Makes no noise whatsoever. You can even go the other direction if you want. That way you can go ahead and lock this in. Now you want to bring this all the way in until you hear it latch on that trigger latch. And you watch this right here. There it goes. And you know you're locked into place. Now a very important step is to go counterclockwise two revolutions. And then, right under here, there's a little button. You take your left hand, your finger, you just push down on it, and then you go one more revolution. And then you can pull it out. And what that does, it takes the tension off the trigger box. 
Here your trigger box actually lines up better and it connects even better to the trigger lock. If you shoot it without doing the counter revolutions, it can damage the crossbow. You want to load your arrow, take that white and put it into the barrel trough, and then bring this all the way back. You want it to seat firmly. Right here is our safety. Just disengage it to red. Now you're ready to fire, disengage your safety, and you're ready to go. I mean, how quiet is that? Now you can bring your crank out, go ahead and reset your string and your trigger box, and you're ready to go for the second shot. Looks like I might have Robin Hooded one. <laughs> yep, must have Robin Hooded that one. Pretty crazy. And again, I want to thank Sportsman's Guide for sending the 10 point Viper S400. I mean, this has been a lot of fun. We're going to get a lot more use out of this crossbow. Uh, it just gives you a lot of different options, obviously, for hunting but also pest control and definitely as a self-defense option if firearms are not allowed. And the great thing is, it's super quiet and easy to manipulate. In that Sportsman's Guide, you get a $20 off every $100 or more purchase using Such in the coupon code. And that's definitely a good thing, but it also includes everything else on their website. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. These have been around six cents. But it's really cool how it just fits right here. It's always with you at all times. It actually came out of China about six cents. Really well designed. We're going to take a look at a lot of the cool features. Come on, airplane. We got all day.